as a young citizen of India, armed with technology, knowledge and love for my nation, with a vision of transforming India into a developed nation, I am joining Shobhit University. What about you? Very good morning to all the participants from India and abroad. Soviet Institute of Engineering and Technology, Meerut, deemed to be university and it's a center of excellence, center for informatics development solutions and applications, and center for industry 4.0 technology studies and applications. In association with African Asian Rural Development Organization, Ordo, New Delhi, organized this weekly international webinar series on open source digital technologies towards self-reliant India, Atmanirbhar Bharat. Today is 9th October 2021. On behalf of the Honorable Chancellor, His Excellency, the Secretary General, African Asian Rural Development Organization, Honorable Vice Chancellor, the faculty members of the university, and on my behalf, and as Professor Emeritus and Chairman of the Centers of Excellence, <coughs> sorry, Center for Agricultural Informatics, and e-governance research studies, Center for Agribusiness and Disaster Management Studies, Center for Informatics Development Solutions and Applications, and Center for Industry 4.0 Technology Studies and Application, and Center for Health Informatics and Computing. Let me welcome our guest speaker of today's webinar, Dr. Pramod Kumar Rajput. Good morning, Dr. Rajput. Senior Vice President and Vertical Head Kadila Pharmaceuticals Limited, Ahmedabad, State of Gujarat, India. Today's topic is Pharma 4.0, Industry 4.0 Applications to Pharmaceutical Manufacturing, Path to a Digital Transformation. Today's topic is that Pharma 4.0, Industry 4.0 Applications to Pharmaceutical Manufacturing, Path to a Digital Transformation. I wish to inform the participants and the guest speaker that under this international webinar series, these two centers of excellence, Center for Industry 4.0, Center for Industry 4.0 Technology Studies and Application, and Center for Industrial Development Solutions and Applications have organized 45 lectures so far. Open technologies to provision simple and economical IT infrastructure. A roadmap for students using free and open source software and reaching goals of Atmanir Bharat. Open source software and industrial IOTs for SMEs free and open source software adoptions and business models, open data platform for smart digital government, technology imperatives make in India for self-reliance, edge AI, data governance for self-reliant India, digital India, transforming governance and society, India's email service citizen at indiamail.com in 22 constitutionally recognized languages. Ecosystem architecture for digital transformation. E education system, cyber critical infrastructure. Seizing opportunities in open innovation and value creation network in digital world for self-reliant economy. Ensuring food safety and compliance through technology. Digital India, origin need and compliance through technology. Digital India, origin need for semiconductor manufacturing in India. Technology investment in agriculture value chain role of foreign direct investments. Entrepreneurship and skill development, AI design pathways. The rise of platform economy, revisiting value chain governance. Era of automation, industrial robotics, and industry 4.0 into a German perspective of technology transfer, skill gap analysis, and opportunities. Role of artificial intelligence in healthcare, current developments in diagnosis and vaccine research, digital agri tech and agri startup perspective, 
health informatics network value chain, e-health systems and beyond, leveraging emerging technologies for ensuring transparent and traceable agri and the food supply chains, unleash the power of citizen development for enterprise software development, e-governance models towards sustained quality services to citizens backed up by technology, Indian MSMEs to adopt industry 4.0 technology study capabilities, urgent need for mentorship and accelerator program, building block public digital platform using microservices and APIs, health informatics network value chain, early childhood development and learning, health informatics network value chain, clinical AI, artificial intelligence, interface between machine learning and health informatics. Health informatics network value chain, importance of social medicine and community health in the times of health emergency. Gra gra gravity filter, a simple low cost solution to the drinking water treatment in rural India. Open source GovTech startups empowering growth with automation. Just one minute. Digital transformation, digital transformation in small enterprises and small businesses of India, challenges and opportunities. National Digital Twine Program, need for a robust geospatial infrastructure. Industry 4.0 and MSMEs, benefits of indigenously developed collab CAD from National Informatics Center. Mass serialization and under counterfeiting solutions to fight illicit trade. Cyber security, risk challenges and solutions, intelligence approach to reduce the cyber risk. New internet IPv6 root server toward Atmanirbha connected Bharat. India startups, reflections and possible policy interventions needed for scaling up up to Gram Panchayat. Blockchain and crypto for digital assets platforms, pathways for global trade. Robot as a service, leverage technology to solve enterprise, enterprise challenges. Space startups connecting to international markets with emerging business models. Enabling technologies for future vision. Vivekananda secondary education and skills development mega project. Its potential impact on rural entrepreneurship and the rural economy in India. The sports grail a digital sports media platform and prospects of India's sports industry, sustainability model at global level. There is once again, there is an internet connectivity problem. Please bear with, bear with us. Please wait for a minute. The guest speaker has got connectivity problem. Today is the 45th edition of this very important webinar series. We will have the talk by our guest speaker, Dr. Pramod Kumar Rajput, Senior Vice President and Vertical Head, Kaidila Pharmaceutical Limited, Ahmedabad, State of Gujarat, India. On the topic, Pharma 4.0, Industry 4.0 Applications to Pharmaceutical Manufacturing, Path to a Digital Transformation.
the keywords are pharma 4.0 industry 4.0 applications pharmaceutical manufacturing and digital transformation atmanirbhar bharat the road ahead this is the vision of prime minister of india sri narendra modi of making india a self reliant nation rested on five i's intent inclusion investment infrastructure and innovation based on five pillars quantum jump in economy industry one that represents modern india systems 21st century technology driven vibrant demography source of energy for self reliant india and demand whereby the strength of our demand and supply chain should be utilized to full capacity this was announced on 15th may 2020 by central government through a special and comprehensive economic package of rupees 20 lakh crore that accounts for 10% of india's gdp to bring the economy back on track vocal for local to make it global it's a demand based economy system which is self producing and self consuming make in india make for india and make for global reforms announced to have been systematic planned integrated interconnected and futuristic for strong for creating strong enterprises generating employment and robust supply chain this is our content the digital india program aims to transform india into a knowledge based economy and a digitally empowered society on 20th february 2019 the ministry of electronics and information technology published a report titled india's trillion dollar digital opportunity in collaboration with the mckinsey and company the report identified about 30 digital themes it scaled up nationally can accelerate india's progress in nine key areas the digital world the rise of platform economy platform economy is the tendency for commerce to increasingly move towards and favor digital platform business model the platform economy provides as an opportunity for smes and startups mr pramod you can you can we wait from uh, mobile in a landscape mode yes okay good digital platform the rise rise of platform economy it, you know it's emerging digital ecosystems are essential for digital transformation in the digital world you can please mute so that sound may not come okay digital ecosystems are essential for digital transformation in the digital world frontier technologies and digital ecosystems in the planet as you know recommended by the united nations satellite drones and sensors cloud and edge computing artificial intelligence and machine learning internet of things platforms and social media blockchain and distributed databases open source software and commercial software mobile phones and applications augmented and virtual reality and there are about 10 emerging technologies making an impact in 2020 the top 10 emerging technologies are artificial intelligence 5g iot serverless computing biometrics augmented reality virtual reality blockchain robotics natural language processing quantum computing let us come to industry 4.0 the smart factory factory for future industry in the internet of things industry 4.0 these are all the buzzwords that populate a new manufacturing world triggered by (coughs) 
these are all the buzzwords that populate a new manufacturing world triggered by digitalization. For our understanding, smart technology includes cyber physical systems, Internet of Things, Industrial Internet of Things, Cloud Computing, Cognitive Computing, Artificial Intelligence, Augmented Reality, IDT Manufacturing, and Simulations and System Integrations. Success come from as, as to how we understand Industry 4.0 design principles. These have been categorized into as below, and each category is itself a complete value system. Interconnection, information transparency, robotic type technical assistance, decentralized decisions. Pharma 4.0, Industry 4.0, applications to pharmaceutical manufacturing, path to a digital transformation. International Society for Pharmaceutical Engineering and its members are developing the roadmap to introduce Industry 4.0 at the pharmaceutical industry as Pharma 4.0. Implementing new Industry 4.0 based manufacturing concepts in Pharma 4.0 requires alignment of expectations, interceptions, and definitions with the pharmaceutical regulations. Created by International Society for Pharmaceutical Engineering, special interest group, it is fueled by trends such as big data, inter internet connectivity, collaborative robotics, artificial intelligence, and distributed cloud-based architecture to develop next generation therapies that may enable lab to patient and even patient to patient value chain. It is a digitalized operation model of a pharmaceutical organization. I would like to quote a you know, paper from the, you know, the website industrial.com published on 6th August 2019. It, 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 the title is Pharma 4.0 Transforming Life Science Manufacturing. Pharma manufacturers uh, face an ever-present need to remain competitive in a marketplace where product portfolios are diversifying, innovative startups, challenging the status quo, supply chain partners becoming more integrated and patients more involved in decision decisions around their care. Life science industry has been collecting data in large historian systems for over 40 years and the industry com continues to complete projects to physically connect all devices and systems, data collections and visualization to improve the performance of the manufacturing supply chain has been the goal for the life science industry for a very long time. Life science industry has a strong legacy in data collection and has embraced the methodology behind industry 4.0, which we will refer to Pharma 4.0. Good manufacturing practices GMP is a system for ensuring that products are consistently produced and controlled according to quality standards. However, in GMP manufacturing, it is not about being new. It is about using proven solutions and approaches to create never before seen quality and reliability standards. Pharma 4.0 refers to new tools, new tools and processes that are enabling smart, decentralized production with intelligent factories, integrated IT systems, IoT, and flexible, highly integrated and automated manufacturing systems that. There are a number of systems and technologies that will develop to enable better gathering and use of data as the pharmaceutical industry embrace Pharma 4.0, data lakes, Edge devices, edge computing, machine learning, digital twins, asset performance management and utilization, and industrial apps. Pharma 4.0 will see the industry connect equipments across plant and enterprises and use better, more reliable, 
and larger volumes of data to revolutionize manufacturing. Pharma 4.0 is a holistic operating model for pharmaceutical factories and, then, and the supply chains of the future based supply chains of the future based on industry 4.0 capabilities, digital maturity and data integrity by design. Pharma 4.0 means digitalization plus ICH10, you know, <clears throat> pharma quality standards. And this involves six parameters, the data maturity, data integrity by design, resources, information systems, culture, and organization. Culture means communication and decision making in industry. Information system, holistic value network integration and traceability. Resources, digitalization, workforce 4.0, available and qualified. Organization and processes, holistic control, strategy, life cycle management, and so on and so forth. It means that when the pharmaceutical manufacturing industries, when they adopt 4.0, as suggested by ISPE, it needs four categories where they have to work. Resources, culture, organization and processes, and information systems. In addition to that, their traditional data collection, data maturity, and data integrity. It is a framework. It is, it is, you know, and, you know, some of the other design which they talk about, manufacturing automation 4.0, laboratory automation 4.0, operations automation 4.0, and, you know, pharma analytics 4.0 and workforce 4.0. It means that pharma 4.0 has got five very important verticals, workforce, workforce 4.0. Pharma Analytics 4.0 and Operations Automation 4.0, Laboratory Automation 4.0 and Manufacturing you know, uh, Automation 4.0. These very five components. And Deloitte is a consulting company character, characterizes Industry 4.0 by four key attributes which are very equally relevant for Pharma 4.0. Vertical networking of smart production systems. Horizontal integration through new global value creations. Through engineering across the entire value chain. Acceleration through exponential technologies, artificial intelligence, advanced robotics, 3D printing, and drones. It is a holistic operating model for pharmaceutical factories and the supply chain of the future based on industry 4.0 capabilities. According to the report, Pharma 4.0, the industry to spend $4.5 billion on digital transformation by 2030. Once again, let me repeat. By 2030, the industry is to spend rupees the dollar $4.5 billion on digital transformation on Pharma 4.0, while the creation, manufacture, and supply of COVID vaccines are grabbing attention. Behind the scenes, pharma manufacturers are digitizing at pace. Pharma operations, creating the workforce of the future. Most significant disruptors in pharma operations have been and will continue to be new product modalities. New product modalities such as cell and gene therapy digitization and advanced analytics new product modalities digitization and advanced uh, analytics these disruptors these three disruptors have already created a skill mismatch in more than 80 percent of the pharma manufacturing companies pharmaceutical represents one of the most regulated industries and thus provide a good opportunity to demonstrate an optimal approach for digitization, a regulated industry, and it, it provides a good opportunity to demonstrate an optimal approach for digitization. With this background, let us turn to the address by our guest speaker, Dr. Pramod Kumar Rajput, 
senior vice president and vertical head Cadilla Pharmaceutical Limited, Ahmedabad, State of Gujarat, Global Ambassador, Commonwealth, Co Commonwealth, Commonwealth Entrepreneurs Club UK, and Honorary Board Member, Sustainable Development Goals 2030, Ahmedabad. On the topic, Pharma 4.0, Industry 4.0 applications to pharmaceuticals manufacturing path to a digital transformation. This topic will motivate and galvanize the participants watching our telecast through facebook.com oblique Soviet University India or youtube.com Soviet University in or linkedin.com oblique company oblique Soviet Dash University for motivating them to harness the power of transformers, technology and capital to establish Pharma 4.0 startups in the country. Let me introduce our guest speaker to the participants of this webinar. Dr. Pramod Kumar Rajput is a seasoned corporate professional with a very rich experience of over 39 years in pharmaceutical and healthcare, sales and marketing, while working as a senior vice president and vertical head in Cadilla Pharmaceutical Limited an Indian multinational leading pharmaceutical company based at Ahmedabad. He started his professional journey as a medical representative as a reason to this position within the same organization. He has MBA marketing and executive leadership development program from Indian Institute of Management Ahmedabad. He has received first honorary doctorate in recognition in humanitarian services, second honorary doctorate in the specialized area of business administration, and third honorary doctorate in the specialized area of education. He did about 24 certification courses from all leading international universities across the world, like uh, across the world, like Leeds University London, University of Michigan, University of Queensland, Deakin University, CK University Australia, College of Law, Samsung and Assanger on the various subjects including Massachusetts Medical Society and Harvard Medical School USA. He, he also completed train the trainer level three and advanced level three from learning without walls apart from completing diploma in neuro linguistic programming from American Board of NLP. He has launched many brands, divisions and converted them as a black black foster branch and arrow headed divisions in organization from acute to chronic therapy in entire Cadilla, he has been recognized and awarded as a champion of champions for the year 2019 and again 2020. He, he has received international recognition and many awards. He has been in the advisory board of many institutions to name a few. Mahabodhi Group, Ahmedabad, Purnima University, Jaipur, IES University, Bhopal, and etc. etc. He is a part of international forums as Global Ambassador Commonwealth of Commonwealth Entrepreneurs Club UK, Ambassador of Global Mental Health Organization Association USA, member of Global Youth Mental Health Awareness, and and etc. etc. He is representing an international influencer on the Forum of International Institute of Influencer from Oman, being a sport enthusiast, enthusiast. He was his college chess and badminton champion, including green, Twakondo, Marshall, art holder, and now he's also part of Indian whole circuit organization. His motto is to give back learning to society as sharing is caring. Thank you very much. Very good morning, Dr. Rajput. We invite you to the international webinar series on open source digital technology for self-reliant India, Atmanirbhar Bharat. On the topic, Pharma 4.0, Industry 4.0, Applications to Pharmaceutical Manufacturing, path to Digital Transformation today. Over to you, Dr. P.K. Rajput. I'm very Thank sorry. You. Thank you so much. You. I'm very sorry that there was little interruptions. But we hope that there is no further interruptions now onwards. And uh, after you. your talk, Doc, uh, Professor Niladri Ghosh from the Soviet University Congo and Mr. Alok Varshne will join to interact with you. Over to Dr. Rajput for your address. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very, very uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all the viewers. Sir, I hope I'm audible. 
professor sir i am audible okay so thank you professor sir for setting the context and the way you have uh, elaborated right it was really i was just noting down some of the very very wonderful points which is required in the pharma 4.0 because uh, working with the last four decades i have seen a paradigm shift in the pharmaceutical marketing manufacturing and how technology is taking care and how the entire world is changing the things now instead of selling the tonics we are changing ourselves in the genetical engineering science all right this is the paradigm shift is there this is the technological changes there people are talking about the things and that's why you have mentioned that the three points which is gene therapy and the technology which is required to make the things happen so all these things i remember before i should start from pharma 4.0 i remember uh, by the some of the senior people they used to say when there was a polio people they used to get the medicine from the different part of the world from canada today the situation is in 6 months of time we are able to provide the covid medicines or covid this means you know, to entire world so that is the beauty is there that is the change is there that is the technology has made the changes here and not only this how pharma company indian pharma company they are becoming atmanirbhar they are ensuring that the medicine should reach to the last man to the society so this is again there before i should start i'll just like to highlight that some of that is the six basic steps to simply to introduce the digital technology to automate simple than manual processes which you told in your setting the context part and the goal is to find respective tasks that would be better performed by the computer and create the basic for the digital infrastructure i am sure the startups who are listening and who are already there in this particular field and who are going to be a part of this they will take it and they must be using it itself second part which you said sir i resonate i was just writing it connectivity because the manufacturing expands the it infrastructure and the lays of the foundation to integrate it manufacturing and the business visibility because you have to have a better visibility and this is the actual area where many manufacturers will start to see substantial improvement connecting the people machines and processes which creates a sustainable digital record of the production and that can be used to make the real time and data driven decision because data is a real fuel to the technology so that is the beauty about it what i like to add transparency because with more data because data is available ample new insights new way of processing things about the complex system which is becoming available here advanced analytics which you told you just was spoken about it it is going to give the opportunity for the improvement and to go ahead about it. productivity you said detailed production of the records enable manufacturers all the manufacturers to correct the problem before they happen earlier they used to see only when the problem arises but now today the manufacturer they are able to see three steps ahead and that is the reason you you said that in 4.5 billion dollar on the digital transformation is going to happen by 2030 what you said is 1000 percent correct because that's the reason the manufacturer they are able to visualize the thing they are able to predict the entire things and the last but not the least is adaptability because now there is a change the final stage of the maturity health systems anticipate the problems so we understand we initiate the proper action before it, it just go to that and at that most with the advancement the autonomous self correcting systems we make the things happen so this is the basic journey of the pharma 4.0 now may i request uh, your team to put that slides which has been prepared right small slides are there which is going to give a better understanding together joining the together right so can i have the slides presentation sir first slide please this is the this is the video first slide please this is a video of the snowfi which i have just captured it yeah so yeah so coming uh, uh, thank you so much again uh, to the shobit university and to the money sir because i feel very happy and blessed madam prakya can you uh, uh,
remove enable editing and then uh, do the first slide you know you expand it okay you carry on i think uh, it's okay fine mm -hmm. okay dr rajesh so, sir uh, this is the one thing yeah sure sir so so first of all thank you so much uh, on the behalf of the uh, kadila and the shobik university and professor moni for giving me this opportunity where yeah, this is a very important subject and the people they manufacture they want to understand that apart from the selling and marketing the product how they can ensure the things in a much better way and the bigger way through pharma 4.0 and it is the industry's requirement is this 4.0 so can i have the slide here yeah this is the first slide is there can you have the second slide please can you put it in the bigger one can you make it the full screen please full screen please down yeah yes full screen round please click on the full screen if it's possible okay anyhow uh, okay all right not any issue sir so i just want to show that the this globe was revolving actually when you put it there so the blue globe has uh, turned to red right and the pandemic covid 19 has uh, taught a lot many things which we all understand the things all right so next slide please next slide please yeah so <clears throat> so see i am coming back thing because you see let me tell you about the pharma industry it is uh, especially the indian industry i'm talking because when we are talking about the atam nirbhar it is more than 1 lakh 50000 crore industry which is growing by the double digit which is growing by the double digit that's the beauty of this industry is and that is the way that industry is making a things and i'm just talking about same amount has been exported also so we are a very very big industry we are the number second largest industry in the entire world and the requirement is multifold very high because the double digit growth is there and the data from the abac shows that the growth will be now straight it will be like a rocket growth is going to happen and the requirement of the drug is going to make a lot of difference so the four designs principle in the industry 4.0 one is interoperability why i talk about the interoperability because the machine devices sensors and the people to connect and communicate with each other by the internet of the things that is the one very very important point which is there which professor mani moni has also touched that iot is going to be a part of the things so this is point number 1 point number 2 is information transparency which i have given my prelude talk to all information system to create a virtual copy of the physical world by enriching the digital plant mode model with sensor data aggregation of raw sensor which is very important third important point is the technical assistance because system to support humans system to support humans by aggregating and visualizing the information for making informed decision it has to be the accurate decision it has to be the right decision so that human human can encapsulate the entire data and put the thing properly and last but not the least is decentralize the decisions because the cyber physical system to make decisions on their own and to platform their task on autonomous is possible so only in the case of exceptions interference or conflicting goals tasks are delegated to a higher level so these are the four industrial revolutions as there which we have shown seen in industry 4.0 and people have started adopting it not only in india because we have started gaining the things from abroad and we are able to get the things which is happening there so can i have the next slide please so now the question is what is pharma 4.0 why people are talking right when you go in any pharmaceutical conference now the people they start ki what is the making going to difference so in a very simple and the layman language i will put it pharma 4.0 is nothing big it's a framework of adopting digital strategies to the unique context of the pharmaceutical manufacturing very very beautifully designed the things and again professor moni moni has clearly put the things very correctly i'm just putting in the most simplest way and in the practical terms it means more connectivity better connectivity which is spoke better productivity 
simplified compliance and marshalling of the production information to respond to the problem as they emerge. So we can visualize the things, we can make the things happen before the problems should go on the floor. We'll be able to see and we are able to take care for the thing. So this is Pharma 4.0. Next slide, please. Now, expects of Pharma 4.0. So this is a very, very important aspect which Professor Moni has also said about the ISP Pharma 4.0. I have taken the slide from them only. And let me just highlight because it is common. It is common wherever you go in this. This has been in the 4.1 is the resources, organization process, information system, and the culture. So I will discuss about what are the each and every point is there, what are the resources is there. So can I have the next slide, please? Yes. So what is the resources part is there? Because that knowledge management, which I say about this, one very important thing, when I talk about the resources, the knowledge management. And knowledge management is having a heaven of the things which is there. Transformation from data to knowledge. First, understanding and putting your wisdom, that is the knowledge. And there are steps are there. First is the data prioritization. What type of the data which is available and how we want Mr. Dr. Rajput, your voice is last. Okay, okay, carry on. Okay, carry on. Ah, please. When it is there, yeah. Okay. So when it is there, then the controls and the dashboards are there with us because now gone are the days of the Excel sheet. We all talk about the dashboard. So with the dashboard, we are able to see what is happening, what is not happening, and the decision actions happen. So world has changed about it. Put the dashboard. Controls are there in view and the decision actions are there, which is going to give you a better way and the best way. That's why Sarah said about the GMP part. So I was listening to the GMP part, how the good manufacturing practice can be involved and can be happened with 4.0 part. Next slide, please. So I am now coming to the next process, which is again equally important, which is the organization process. Next slide, please. So with the on this part, which is going to have that quality predictive control. So organizational process is going to take care for the quality predictive control. How? Three dimensional data collection and analysis, combination of the data from many different sources, because you know the sample of the data is available. You can find the data, combine it, and then mix it up and just take it out what the thing integrated enterprises production data, process it and get the things done. Then analyze and correlate the data for the predictive quality control which is known as the quality of the finished product based on the input quality because why i'm talking about this this is very very important when we talk about the genetical engineering when we talk about the gene based therapy all these things are going to give the accuracy of the data now you know with this data now a lot of the smart watches gokai has come so many other people have come how they have started playing with this pharma 4.4 4.0 they all are predicting the things and making the things happen it is not only in the manufacturing part it is happening in the other part as well so production of the data life cycle management is the another very important feature which is there can i have the next slide please yeah so the next slide says about a information system right after this can i have next slide please So the third point is about the information system. So what information system is? It is basically, sir was talking about the five verticals. I fully agree with it, fully agree. End-to-end -end vertical and horizontal integration. He said that the five verticals will be there, which are going to take care of Pharma 4.0, and it is true. How these five verticals are going to take care? Let me tell you about it. This is very important. Uh, can I have next slide, please? Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Monisha, are you able to hear me? Monisha, are you able to hear me? Next slide, next slide. Next slide, please. 
after the yeah yeah that's that's all right good 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 so one is about telling about the five verticals so what are the five verticals right now the new colleagues are there robots and cabot the operation of the small devices flexible operations monitoring and the control a decentralized smart device enables monitoring and operating from the distance by operators and supervisors this is the way that we integrate the things with this integration we can make the things more simplified we can have the simplified change over we can have the setup part we can maintain the thing and we can have the life cycle management which is basically required in the gene therapy genetical science which is a buzzword and which is the requirement for the industry pharmaceutical industry then with the cross functional work which is the integration of the several disciplines when i talk about the discipline it is in the manufacturing what are the things which are there and how we are going to correlate the things together to ensure the thing should come as per the requirement last but not the least computer and ai robotics and the macros because this is the way that we will be able to find that it is a zero error right and with this we are able to make the thing which is actually required so with the vision we are able to provide the thing then we are going to make the thing happen next next slide please so next slide is basically on the important no, before to it before to it before to it yeah so yes the next is the fourth point is very important in pharma 4.0 that is the culture right and when we talk about the culture you know when when we deal with the human there is always a culture here also the culture is there with when you deal with the machine which is the communication decision making holistic control strategy life cycle management so this is another important factor of the, the pharma 4.0 and i like to elaborate it with my next slide can i have my next slide please can i have my next slide please yes wonderful so it is end to end integration now you can see whenever the medicine has been produced how it integrate with the different level there are eight different things are there which have been i have shown in the four different color purchasing the data tracking the data utilization of the data inventory of the data and i remember of moni sir many times he took the name of data analytics data analytics and all here you can see from the manufacturers again all the four things are required when we supply the medicine to the hospital at the last uh, ma, last city of the entire state again the four things are required erp in the system so they are very important logistics is going to make a vital role central distribution warehouse sorry for the spelling mistake w a r e it is for typo error hospital central is there and hospital consumers and maintenance management so this is the end to end integration this is a holistic approach which is required which is a part of which is extended arm of the pharma 4.0 with pharma 4.0 we can take care for all the beautiful eight arms which has been shown here and to ensure that the zero error right time supply with a complete discipline with a complete communication providing the right medicine to the right customer and economizing the things which is there in the 4.0 requirement so this is all which i spoke about it now one more thing i like to have can i have my next slide please so two more things i just want to add in that yeah so in the same continuation when i was talking about the culture and the communication i like to highlight one very very important part which is which is basically a uh, pharma 4.0 mindset when we talk about entire thing this is required that is required this not that not and with, then the mindset has to be aligned i will not think that it has to be changed it has to be aligned data integrity has to be 100% correct processing and critical thinking required in the culture of the organization see we talk about 4.0 many pharma industries talking we are in ahmedabad right it is basically a hub of pharma industry but we have to put a question that whether the thinking is required my the, the culture of the organization is really thinking the right direction or we are talking something very big and we are not able to inculcate the things we compare ourselves with an international organization with the people we are using but are we taking 10% 20% 30% of it because whatever we are taking it has to be robust second thing is innovation and automation should be there in the blood of the organization culture this is a this is not an statement this is a basic requirement now you can see that that is cadilla right i should take the name of the computer right how they are able to provide the vaccine for the children right this is the innovation this is the automation and they are able to provide it to the larger group of the entire entire community so this is the way the organization culture makes a difference 
like in our Cadilla Pharma, we are able to provide a medicine for the sepsis. And it has been given a lot of strength to the people there whenever they are suffering with the COVID. So again, the innovation and automation was there, able to provide to the last minute to the society. Third point is, India has the skills, the capacity, capability, competence, and the ability to have the innovation. Our mind is very, very open. Our people, they go outside and they innovate the things. But how the government is going to support? Yesterday, I was talking to Moni, sir. Right? He said that, yes, we have to put this thing to the uh, to the highest authority, to the minister level, to the PM office, that how the government is going to give an infrastructure, how the government is going to give support so that we should be running as per the 4.0 requirement. Because talking and uh, and just saying that these are the things are there, unless and until the path will not be prepared and will start, will not start walking on the path and will not be hitting the things, knocking the door, the things will not happen. Again, we will say that we have all the things, but we are behind. So we all have to take it as, as a revolution, right, and as a challenge to make the things happen. Last but not the least, adaptability. This is the final stage of the maturity required for adoption of Pharma 4.0. So we, we, we should not be talking, again I am saying, we should adopt it. And when we talk about adopting it, means we have to upgrade ourselves. We have to upgrade the entire system. We have to upgrade in the entire process, which is very, very important. Because upgradation will add to the learning. Learning is going to add, make it more clear, more wider. Then the mirror, then the image will be more clear. Otherwise, we will be in the foggy thing and will not be able to say what is there, what not is there. So that is the reason I'm taking a lot of time on the culture which is required in the Indian pharmaceutical company. Either you're starting a startup or you have already started it or the people who are running and they have the vision to do something great for the entire world being based in India or the people who are there in the different part of the world. Can I have my next slide, please? So this is uh, this is uh, not a slide. Uh, next, yeah. <clears throat> next, please. Can, can can you show this beautiful video of a Snowfi factory of the future?
हेलो डॉक्टर राजपूत यस सर डॉक्टर राजपूत आर यू एबल टू सी सर या यस 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 या यस प्रोफेसर मोनी या so this uh, this is uh, going on this is i am not able to hear the entire thing that this is a complete video yeah. is here for the snowfi part okay carry on please carry on mm. so i think uh, uh, all the people they have seen that wonderful video which is there which is uh, basically uh, from the snowfi and we can see that how the technology has changed the entire thing how the technology has really made the things happen right so this is the thing which i like to highlight and that is the reason then can you have the next slide please sir? two more slides are there so how to win at pharma first is comprisation the final stage of pharma 4.0 is simply to introduce richer technology to automate simple manual process to automate simple manual process in this particular video of the snowfi we have seen that how 3d technology is working how the people they are assessing the things i know it's lot of expenditures are there lot of things are there but this is the way it is there and again i recollect the word of uh, professor moni 4.5 billion dollar in the digital transformation this is one of the proof this is one of the proof this is required now and that's the reason the international multinational companies they have started working on the thing and making the things different the second is the goal is to find respective tasks that would be better performed by the computers and create the basis of the digital infrastructure so what we have seen here we are talking about the 3d part believe you me it is not new today when you go to the different schools and colleges people they are talking on the 3d dissection people they are talking about the 3d dissections right they are talking about the 3d dissection they are talking that yes that how the things are there they are they are not suppose in in the anatomy and and and, and the other things they are not doing the dissection directly they are not taking the frog which you used to have 40 years back right they are with the 3d technology they are just disintegrating the thing that thing each and every part when it is happening in the high school or 10th class or 11th class 12th class this is the same way that we can make the things in the coming time which is very very important next slide please and how to win again the thing is visibility which i told you and this is the area where manufacturers will start to see substantial improvement so starters which are here the people they are already in this particular way they will they have to ensure and see and connecting the people machines and processes create a substantial digital record of production that can be used to make real time data driven decision which i started it was my prelude of the talk which i started it what are the six things are there computerization connectivity visibility transparency predictability and adaptability i end with the same six point which was a uh, even the prelude or the context setting by professor moni and this is the whole things are there the entire gamut of pharma 4.0 in front of you which i i am learning right by the lot of the people who are there who are in this to it and they are working on it and making the things happen and that is the requirement if you will not change then you will be changed so the people who are in this particular setup of the designing the things align they have to align themselves they have to change themselves they have to change the thinking they have to change they have to adopt it and they have to make the culture of the organization so that the complete thing should be changed because tomorrow that we are not going to sell tonics tonics is the outdated thing so gene therapy genome therapy uh, monoclonal antibodies all these things are the basically required because you all will agree today the robotic surgery is happening people are going for the robotic surgery so the man sir me paperless things are there men are not there everything is getting computerized then why not in pharma for through 4.0 we should make the things happen and that is that is the thing and one of the finest industry in the world is pharmaceutical in this thank you so much sir next slide please
Next slide. I, I, yeah, I told you all the six points, so I will not repeat it. Next, please. Next, please. So, thank you, sir. My special thanks and gratitude to the uh, next. This is over. This was the old one. It's over. 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 You take it out. This one is not there. Sorry. Just take it out. Take out slides. So, special gratitude to Professor Moni, sir. Which, uh, which uh, yeah, just take it out. This slide, not an issue. This was a different slide which has been cut and paste that I've given on the leadership there. And then I want to require the past to India. We can just take it out. This slide, no yeah. Sorry. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, uh, Mr. Pragya, can you uh, come out of the uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation? Hello? Just for a minute. Very much, and then uh, I'm going to slide down to Hello, sir. Namaste. I don't know why this is in the same internet from the proper side. And today, unfortunately, we are talking about the topic. And today, internet disruptions are too much. It's fine, but I have no problem, but we are able to convey the message, but it is needed. We will also request once again Dr. Rajput to uh, never talk so that without any interruption, this uh, talk can go. I, you know, very nice, uh, you know, uh, you know address, Dr. Rajput. I appreciate you. You are coming from a very important uh, industry, industry and you give a complete value chain. And uh, this gives a lot of uh, understanding and appreciation and efforts for us to work from the university side, the Center for Industry 4.0 Technology Studies and Applications to work with you you know very effectively now my colleagues have joined mr alok varshney is an industrialist he is we because of him only the center for industry 4.0 technology studies and application has been established in the university and uh, he is an you know man from uh, mba from his uh, faculty of management studies delhi university and a very successful you know, uh, technology, you know, uh, enabler in many of the industry forums. And uh, our my journey along with him is started in 2016 and now is ended up in the university to through the Center for Industry 4.0 Technology Studies and Application. And he is one of the very important innovator and pioneer and in, in uh, opera, you know, in uh, propagating industry technologies. And Dr. Leather Bosch is from the Department of Industry Science of the University of Congo. He is also joined. And we have the ideas have been well conveyed. And Anna is an important in the country. 
which has been, you know, which has been greatest with respect to, you know, even during these very difficult situations like COVID in pandemic, we are able to produce vaccines to the whole world. And uh, many people call India as the developing nations, but we are already a uh, more than a developed nations. And this has to get into, you know, India's you know, understand what we are and how we are and how we are progressing. The talk is in this, uh, you know, direction. And I would like to, you know, to start with that. Dr. R. P. Rajput is the senior vice president of Cadilla Pharmaceutical Industry from Gujarat. And uh, he's also a mentor, innovator, and uh, promoter, and so and ambassador, and so on and so forth. I would like to start with you know, uh, uh, Dr. Niladri Ghosh. What is your uh, takeaway? Because pharmaceutical for pharma 4.0, it is an industry 4.0 technological applications to pharmaceutical industry, a pathway for transformation. You can, as an as an researcher, academician, engineering and sciences, what is your you know, viewpoint? How an industry academy has to established to get into pharmaceutical and later. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Am I audible, sir? Am I audible, sir? Yes, 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 sir. You are audible, sir. You are audible. Sir. Yes, you are audible. You are audible. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, sir, uh, for inviting me uh, to share my views on most important topic that is uh, industry four uh, application to pharmaceutical manufacturing path to digital transformation. Uh, as per my opinion, the basic principle is that connecting machine and systems. We can create intelligent network along with the value chain that control each other. For example, machine would be able to predict failure and trigger maintenance process automatically. So self-organized logistics that react to change in production. Industry port technologies include many today's buzzwords like big data, advanced analytics, virtual reality, the cloud, internet of things, and M2M, that is machine-to-machine uh, -machine communication. In past decades, these technologies have been swept across the globe as manufacturers across the uh, world recognize the value of industry four. So a vision of a future with efficient self-automated manufacturing process and that monitoring themselves so they never uh, go wrong. However, before uh, embarking on the uh, journey to Industry 4, the companies need to pause and consider uh, the objectives uh, of the exercise and set clear goals that uh, they will guide them on the way uh, to successful implementation of novel technologies. There is no shortage of technology but uh, choosing that one that is going to have greatest positive impact on your company in the area uh, that you most uh, need it. It is an obvious uh, crucial decision. So uh, if all these uh, steps can be held to potential problem and set your company on it, the path to Pharma 4 to create valuable and industrious new era of manufacturing. That's all for my side, sir. That's all for my side, sir. Am I audible, sir? 
you are audible dr niladri but i think professor muni you are on mute sir dr niladri i think dr professor muni is on mute There was some net issue was there in my side also, so I missed. Doctor Nilatri, I was listening to you. What you said that connectivity is uh, between the things and the system, which is very very important. Because what you said, sir, it is uh, absolutely correct. And uh, being the institution and all, it is very much required that how we enrich uh, the people who are there and who are learning and who can make the difference. because now you will agree sir uh, the new generation which we we take or the people who are joining in the industrial level they have to have that insight there in that it is very important and since shobhit university is one of the very leading and you are thinking in a very very bigger way and brighter way so then why we should be confining ourselves only to the nation we should think globally right that's why we talk about the atmanirbhar part and sir we can see now all the multinational even the indian companies all the good indian companies they are changing their things they are making themselves automatic their things and making the things happen so i was listening few part i have learned listen from you what you said it i fully resonate with you sir that is the right thinking which is required for the coming time then only you will be able to build oh. ourselves in this way in a bigger way and the better way sir yes uh, Am I audible now? Yes, sir. You are audible. You are audible, Professor. Professor Sir, you are audible. Okay, I am yes, connected from uh, another. Uh, you know. oh. Am I audible now? Very well, yes, sir. sir you are Very well. Audible. Hello. Yes, sir. Just let us. You are audible. Perhaps you have your thumb on the camera. You know, if you can remove your thumb, yeah, yeah. Uh, we could see you. and mr hello i think he is logging in again is logged off is logging yes, in sir, again it seems to be alok sir without the yeah very happy to see you alok sir right i am blessed to very happy to see you pramod ji hamari hamari common roots hamari common roots gorakhpur mein hai aapse baad mein baat karenge aap gorakhpur mein aapne high school kiya hai sir maine gorakhpur se puri padhai hai batayenge aapko pakka i know aur चलिए अभी इस फोरम पे नहीं आपसे अलग से बात करेंगे इस पर श्योर 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 या प्रोफेसर साहब इट्स इट्स वेरी नाइस वी वी आर कनेक्टेड कनेक्टेड वंस वंस अगेन अगेन यस यस आई आई थिंक यू यू नो नो हैव connection due uh, connection but i don't know why today it's behaving but doesn't matter but we'll connect once again and uh, mr dr rajput we will uh, have this discussion once again but we will for the benefit of uh, both uh, dr niladri and uh, mr alok has joined now mr alok you please uh, in case, you know discuss with uh, dr rajput as to how uh, the and uh, you know of the soviet institute of engineering and technology mirat and the department of pharmaceutical science and engineering from soviet university gango and cardi lab you know pharmaceutical industry program is concerned hmm. yeah Pharma uh, so once again doctor uh, once again uh, uh, yes yeah once again good afternoon uh, dr uh, ghosh and dr pramod nice to uh, meet you and uh, thanks to professor moni ji for having uh, this platform uh, first of all uh, i would repeat uh, a very 
impressive and catchy phrase from Dr. Pramod's speech, and that is mindset 4.0. That is uh, a very impressive word, and I think it sums up everything. It starts with mindset 4.0, and in our language, we call it transformative vision 4.0. So it's the one thing, and uh, uh, well, just to introduce, uh, I think uh, thanks Professor Moni for such a nice uh, introduction that he gave. So uh, basically, I'm also on the board of a world body for smart manufacturing. That is MESA International. I hope uh, you, you would have heard about MESA. MESA is the only trade body for smart factory solutions in the world. And we have various chapters all, all over the world. And uh, we are doing some very good things in India right now. And, and uh, we will definitely share more things as we go forward. However, for Pharma 4.0, I, I definitely hope and, and start to see that Pharma 4.0 is instrumental in, in making uh, medicine and medical treatment sustainable and affordable for every citizen of this world. So, so that is a great blessing. That is a great blessing because unfortunately, with the commercial world, the trust on medicines have been going down, unfortunately. And what technology is doing, technology is bringing visibility, like Dr. Pramod said. Technology is bringing transparency. Technology is bringing accountability. Technology is bringing democratic values that each patient can see what is done to him. He can see through the process. And, and, and it is very, uh, uh, I mean to say, it is very customized. And, and all it can be afforded at a scale, at a speed, and at sustainability with the help of technology, not without technology. You cannot treat billions of people without technology. And we have seen it in the case of COVID. And, and, and definitely, and I must thank Dr. Pramod that you have articulated Pharma 4.0 uh, beautifully. And I, 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 am, I have witnessed this a beautiful articulation from a pharma man for the first time because as part of our business we keep on uh, you know uh, uh, doing executing our transformation projects for various companies uh, uh, in, in in pharma in process in, in automotive sector and but i must congratulate for your energy for your passion for the quality of the content that you have brought forth and uh, definitely it would be a pleasure to learn from you and to and to take insights from you for our not-for-profit movement such as SITSA and SITSA is also supported by MESA and we are here to kind of uh, uh, do the capacity building industry 4.0 capacity building uh, at the workers level at the executive level at the management level and also for the students so so, so definitely the ultimate aim is to see a common man on the street getting benefited by world-class treatment, medicines, everything integrated uh, 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 and at a very affordable price. That is what uh, Pharma 4.0 can do. And, and definitely uh, uh, we also wish that in India, the, the practices, the quack practices, you know, I would say, the practices of the quacks who are half-baked, half-knowledge people who claim to treat patients, you know, with this and that, that also comes down. And people can use the technology to discern and differentiate what is useful and what is, is uh, uh, not useful, you know. So, so, so that is very, very important because in India and various developing countries, there is a lot of jhaal phunk also. There is a lot of half-baked knowledge, which does a lot of harm, including our own friends and families and other things. So, so I'm, I'm sure Pharma 4.0 is one of the most important things that our future generations could, can benefit from. And, 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 and we should definitely do our best to, to afford our citizens, not only in India, like Dr. Pramod said, all across the world, to have sustainable and affordable and a very positive way of uh, medicine. Uh, 
and 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 we are all in along with my team and our company is also one of the pioneers into smart factory implementation and we are learning and we have a team all across uh, the world on the platform of mesa uh, where we have not for profit based discussions mind storming every fortnight uh, as to what are the good practices people did and what are not so good practices so that we can learn from each other and uh, uh, so 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 looking forward to add more to it through our center of excellence sipsa at shobhit university in noida and uh, we are ready to uh, solve more problems to 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 discuss more to diagnose more to investigate more and to see how we can uh, bring about positive impact for more and more people thank you so much professor saab and dr pramod and dr ghosh professor saab alok sir mute par hain professor saab yeah yeah sir please dr pramod uh, bolne sir uh, you you have touched the fulcrum actually yeah you have touched the fulcrum which is required and and the way you said it well, this is the way the center of the excellence and with this meda which you have it can be further explored in a much beautiful way because when the directions is right the intentions are right right then the success is going to happen with the sustainable requirement affordable right. requirement to the each and every person which is required second point sir you said it that the quackery part should be diminished right diminished right it has go down it has to be diminished because people they are aware about it with the technology they can see what is the actual result which is coming up right and this is the requirement because so earlier every 10 years the things were getting changed now every 5 years down the things are getting changed earlier 20 years used Absolutely. to take i have seen the time because i started my career in 82 where we used to think that what is going to happen what is automation and all then in 20 years of time the automation started coming up now in 10 years new thing has come now in 5 years everything has been 3d now you can visualize and you can start working so this is the way that is there and that is the reason 2030 sir i was just i think we are having some problem on the net you are frozen dr pramod uh you have to wait so, uh, yeah i'm audible yeah 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 i i think if you have said something in the past 30 seconds you may have to repeat because uh, I'm audible? The, the connection was yeah yeah you are audible am i audible yes yes you are, you are audible yeah. am i audible yeah, yeah. so yeah. can you hear us that, dr pramod yeah, you are audible yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah you are audible so yeah. you are in the sales and marketing i am not talking about manufacturing part it's a 65 billion dollar industry in sales and marketing ai part machine learning and by 2025 it is going to be 500 billion dollar industry this is the way the sales part is changing and manufacturing is a backbone it is a backbone once the results will not there when the product will not come how the sales and marketing will happen so that is the reason then uh, professor was telling and i have noted it down so beautifully it is going to 4.5 billion dollar by 2030 yeah. that is the actual threats of it so i am able to resonate that yes how the two things can be collaborated and how the two things can make it happen and how we can give it in a in a in a required desired economical and to the wider spread it can happen absolutely absolutely sir absolutely absolutely thank you sir thank you professor so saab <laughs> this was an exciting session i must thank you professor moni ji i think uh, yes, again there is some problem yeah okay. yeah hello yeah yeah professor saab hello. please go ahead hello oh, yes, yes, sir, yes, yes yes sir i think you know yeah, today it seems to be more the distribution and i am not able to communicate and uh, so, you know it's very sad we were to join together and uh, to thank uh, uh, and also for uh, Alok Varshne and Dr. Gilad Nikos and the initiation and discussion and it's a very important topic and different two points is very good 
and the manufacturing and uh, my interest is that uh, through the it's a center for industry 4.0 technology is an application let us have a working group, a full working group uh, for industry form of 4.0, myself, Dr. Nilan Ghosh, and uh, Dr. Vashne, and uh, Dr. Rajput, and, uh, you know, and the people who uh, you know, to, uh, you know, uh, pharmaceutical industry. So let us work on and let us take to create a lot of this debate. That's very important. We announced that ABA 4.0 or uh, SAS, and uh, that uh, program is going to be launched very soon. And uh, Mr. Alok Parshne and his team and, uh, from uh, University, you know, we are all working. The course structure has been, you know, worked out and has been put up to the university management for its support. So the same manner, we are also going to have an MBA program on industry 4.0 mm -hmm. for to promote pharma 4.0. So because European Union is you know going ahead in you know large scale capacity building for CEOs of SMEs. So three days back, I had a interaction with. The official chief secretary and chairman of the Tamil Nadu Industrial uh, you know, Corporations Limited, and also you know, you know, discussed with him that it is the time that government should come forward to enable SMEs, irrespective of the size of the SMEs. We have to put them on the global map of digitalization. They have to be digitally transformed. Whether the SMEs like it or not, I think we again we lost him. Sir. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, there is some. It is unprecedented. Earlier, it was. Uh, it never happened like this. Yeah, yeah. Never happened Maybe like some, this. Some uh, technical glitch. <laughs> I know. The technical he's, he's well. logging so in again. It, it, it is a part and parcel. Yeah, yeah. yeah it must be logging. Yeah. It is a part and parcel. I know, I know. Connectivity is a big yes, issue. Is a part and parcel. Uh, you know, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the 5G, 5G, yeah. the trials are going on. 5G is going to change all this. The hmm. speed, the quality, and the latency, everything will improve with 5G. In fact, Airtel has done some tests here in a village in near Delhi for 5G. Hmm. And... Uh, so this 3G and 4G current networks that we have, it's basically uh, uh, problematic. We cannot have very high volume of data very speedily. So so and and the quality of voice is also not that good because wow. we have seen in the trials of 5G, the the speed and the latency, everything is very very good. And for example, we are doing uh, communication all across the factory. Mm -hmm. So that speed itself uh, is responsible for the ROI also, you know, oh. because if a machine, if my reaction time is 10 nanoseconds versus 200 nanosecond, there is those 190 nanosecond, that fast machine, if you add up for a year, it adds 10% yeah. more savings if I, if I, you know just for the quality that you Very did not stop or you or you went on producing bad quality for that much more time absolutely correct absolutely yeah correct. You professor up, please yes, please yeah. yeah okay and before we connect you know the success let me thank all of you and let us form a working group with respect to pharma, pharma for growth, and uh, Mr. Alok Vashne and uh, Dr. Rajput, Dr. Nadri Shengosh, and uh, myself. And we are let us establish as soon as possible, and let us take uh, once again. And uh, I also want like to request Dr. Rajput 
that take to one of the days or during next week let us have this talk once again we got a lot of instructions and uh, let us plan to reenact this discussion once again and uh, let us see to that our internet connection is very strong and uh, we are uh, getting disturbed uh, disturbed and uh, i do not know you know the last trip and especially saturday i don't know whether but i will face i do not know and uh, it is very good i know we can copy but even though we have put the seed today and let us take it up and uh, dr alok uh, mr alok please see, see to that let us have a working group Yes, absolutely absolutely thank sir you. this is number one priority thanks for the time thank you dr pramod yes sir thank yes. you professor saab and before before that let us also you know uh, have the mba program on industry 4.0 for pharmaceutical industries and in very effectively this is my request to uh, dr uh, you know rashmi and uh, with this i i thank uh, all of you and uh, it's a very important day and very important topic on the four points industry four points the applications for pharmaceutical manufacturing and uh, yeah talk to the digital transformation thank you very much for your thank you dr pramod thank, thank you professor saab thank you sir thank you so much for us for his this contact professor mori manas on professor ethics and chairman center for industry uh, informatics uh, development solutions and applications and in industry 4.0 studies and applications and for my direct general nation for at center government of india my email id is mori at subhitinvestor.ac.in and thank you very much have a nice day we will close our interview thank you i'm very sorry that